Another thing I'm going to do is notice s- syllables that jump out of, out at me like cloth. Okay. So then I do a word association. Cloth. Let's see. Tablecloth. Washcloth. When I say tablecloth, I'm automatically going to look for that word. And I already see it. T-A-B-L-E cloth. Three syllables. Now, and then I'm going to look down for at the clues and see if that is a clue. Over here, I'm going to see. First of all, I'm going to look for three. A three that's in parentheses. Embroidery. Dining linen. Look at that. Dining linen. Three syllables. For sure, in that this case, tablecloth will be the answer. T-A-B-L-E. C-L-O-T-H. Eureka! We already got this answer. Table. So just like in the example, you're going to go ahead and cross off the uh, T-A-B-L-E cloth. So we already found our word. This word was given, number one was given, but we found tablecloth. And I crossed that off, cross off number 11. Now, and I really haven't read my clues yet over here because I'm just finding words that are going to jump out at me. Prompt. Already the first word that comes to my mind is impromptu. And I see that those syllables in here. I see M, I see prom, and I see two. Three syllables. So I'm going to look down the syllables. Ooh, ad lib, I-M-P-R-O-M-P-T-U. There you go. Impromptu means ad lib. So number eight, I can confidently say, is the answer is impromptu. Impromptu, so I'm going to cross that one out. Impromptu. So that's the first thing I do, is I'll scan the syllable box see what word associations come to mind, and then um, fill in what immediately comes to mind as I did. I found impromptu and tablecloth, and then I'll go on to the next step.